in this video we're going to be looking at the app called Poplet. Now there are a lot of mind map uh, softwares out there but uh, Poplet has to be one of the easiest to use. You can get the free Poplet Lite app which is the one I have which will allow you to just do the one Poplet but you can then download that, delete and start again or you can pay for the premium which will allow unlimited. When I last looked it was 3 99 that's UK sterling to upgrade to the full version. So let's dive in and open up Poplet. So you can see I've been playing already, so we'll just delete some of those poplets. And there, each little box is called a popple. So we double click to create a box. We can then click on the text and we can type. We can align the text. We can also change the color of our box. We can move it around and then when we take one of the grey it will add another a popple. We can also add images from your camera roll. So let's take a screenshot and we can rotate it left and right and then done and it puts the image in there and you can see it as we zoom in and out. So, so far we've added text, we've changed the colour of the outline just to highlight, we can change that one to red now. Uh, we've added text and then if we do one more pop up, we can also draw or scribble as I've done a picture in there and we can clear that drawing. So I'll try and draw something a bit nicer. So. There you go. Having done those, you can export it via email as a PDF or as a JPEG, or you can save it to JPEG. Now, when you do that for the first time, it will ask you to provide access to your camera roll, and you just have to allow that. And then if we click on the home button and go to our camera and camera roll, we can see our popple. So there you are, Poplet. Nice and easy to use. It's also available as a web browser based app um, and that will allow you to create 10 poplets for free before you need to upgrade. So hope you found that useful. Join me again next time.